So my book, uh, Big Tech and the Digital Economy, The Moligopoly Scenario, is about Google, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, and Microsoft, a group of firms that have become of central concern to policymakers across the globe. Just last week, a subcommittee of the US Congress declared that these companies had come to function as gatekeepers. It is an apparent paradox that the very firms that I have created, the products and services that consumers, entrepreneurs and investors have praised over the past 30 years, have become the punching balls of public policy. The paradox is explained on the cover of the book. The tech giants are like spinning tops on a chessboard. They execute a set of really fast and predictable and bold moves which disrupt established players and institutions. Innovation trumps competition. At the same time, a game without rules creates mistrust and diminishes investments and incentives to innovate, so some rules and some order are necessary. So I think the critical point in the book is that not all the tech giants are the same company. They are not all gatekeepers everywhere they operate. And intuitively attractive solutions like breaking up Google in four search engines or preventing Amazon to sell its own product on its marketplace are like war surgery. They risk disabling efficiency and innovation. So my book sees a bigger place for a finer policy, a policy that would distinguish between the good, the bad, and the ugly big tech company. So on the one hand, as a policymaker, you want to leave space to the big tech company that represents high-powered growth, tireless efforts, jobs, value, and productivity creation. On the other hand, as a policymaker, you really want to apply a shock therapy to the big tech firms that are lazy, dormant, and rapacious. 